So hello there, um, my name is Alice Akiola. Um, it's been a minute I've been here on, but today I'm going to be discussing about is MLS for me basically. I'm going to be mentioning five things that I feel you should know more about medical laboratory science. I get, I see a lot of comments about oh, uh, I want to do medicine, um, but there's a lot of competition in medicine. Can I get an alternative? Um, I need an alternative course, something that is close to medicine and all. And I'm like, okay, let me, let's discuss more about medical laboratory science. So I'm going to say five major things about medical laboratory science that if you're considering medical, medical laboratory science as a course, you should probably consider this point. And now this point are basically from my own experience and, you know, from my research. So nobody should come from my head. All right, let's get right into today's video. So now the very first point I'm going to be talking about in this video is that medical laboratory science is not an alternative for medicine. I get a lot of, it's not I get a lot of time, you know, a lot of time the way our, our university has been structured is like, if you don't make it for medicine, they will drop you to a lower course or something. Or if you can't, yes, if you don't make the cutoff for medicine, they will drop you to the next course where you, the next course with the lower cutoff. So it's like, okay, if I can't make medicine, I can make med lab or nursing. I think pharmacy cutoff was always higher. So it has always been in our heads that medical lab, nursing, they are all like an alternative course for medicine, basically. And then after the course of school, I'm starting to realize that we are actually learning, we have similar foundations let me let me basically on the build say it like it's like me, all medical courses our foundations are similar so yes we have a similar understanding but what we build on is actually very very different and then the way a doctor easily understands signs and symptoms signs and symptoms and how they've gotten a lot of things from experience how you can easily walk up to a doctor and like okay i'm having fever i'm having this and then it takes your history and it's like okay this is most likely the cause this is most likely the cause medical laboratory scientists we do not work like that basically we, we analyze the results we analyze samples we get the result and we can okay this we can interpret the result nurses also they know how to care for the patient they know what exactly to administer you know everybody has their own definitive role so no cost is a no cost actually is a substitutes basically no cost is a substitute for the other medicine is unique in its own way medical laboratory science is unique in its own way nursing is unique in its own way so if you're trying to study medicine face medicine don't say okay let me do med lab maybe because med lab is close so yes we are all held to this thing but whatever course you are actually going to study make sure you have a passion for it make sure you're not doing it because oh because i cannot get medicine uh let me just manage this one you're going to i won't say you're going to regret it but that's the journey actually it's not going to it might not be a smooth one for you it's easier to you're going to definitely face challenges on the way and it's your passion or your passion or drive basically as people call it that is what will fuel you throughout that journey so uh, first thing i would say is medical laboratory science is not an alternative or a substitute for medicine my second point now like i said earlier this is basically on my own experience medical laboratory science calendar is not flexible the, the hospital work basically the hospital work basically is like a normal nine to five job and now apart from being a nine to five job you now have calls you have nine calls to add to the whole bundle basically so if you're actually thinking i want to i want um, um a job where i can flex where my time is my own i believe every 95 most 95 jobs are not really flexible but then if that is what is behind your mind that okay i want somewhere i can flex where i can rest where i can you know chill take care of myself pamper myself that might not be the case with medical laboratory science at least when you're starting up maybe probably as you go higher you you can have the stuff the schedule basically becomes less rigid let me use that word and so but at the very beginning it's not flexible the schedule is not flexible at all most people say whenever i call my friends and i'm like i was internship they're like yo stress even me myself that i'm calling i actually know what i'm actually going through like any of the i have is just to rest i don't use I, I i i totally this period i totally 
I, I have bought, I actually detest having any reason to go out of my normal way. Like, obviously, I just want to lie down and sleep and just thank God for rest. Basically, I don't want to start going up and down. So, because the schedule is tight, man. At least in Lagos. Plus, Lagos traffic and Lagos stress. Trust me. It's stressful. The next point I'm going to actually be talking about is now bench walk you all know now bench walk like bench walk was something that every ask anybody do you want to do bench walk and no i don't want to be on bench walk. you only actually see few people who actually readily say at the beginning of that's why we're in school that uh, i would like to do bench work a lot of us were like nah i wouldn't want to do bench work and coming out i realized that a bench work is like 99.9 percent .9 a starting platform like wherever you want to do even if you want to go it's going to teaching if you want even to go to research whatever you want to do that is medical laboratory science related you actually have to start on the bench and that's because medical laboratory science is like an and on and on profession basically it's a very very practical it's more practical than theoretical and so people they expect you to actually gain experience from bench work from your years on the bench work so most of the time i saw so most people are you know trying to do um to get right journals right at uh, right journals and in writing journals you need to you know you for you for you to be able to write journals you need to have worked on the bench for a while you need to have actually gathered data see there are a lot of things and everything you want to do if you want to go into research if you want to teach i just realized that bench work is is just like this automatic starting platform for medical laboratory scientists so if you're if you're like me that i was like yo after internship me bench work i'm like nah research not saying i'm not going to go into research or other things but now the thing i'm telling myself okay i'm like i'm not going to put myself i'm not going to put my mind that okay i'm going to i'm putting my mind that okay i'm going to be using it as a starting platform but i plan not on rem i don't plan on remaining there basically i plan on using it as a starting platform to research and whatever else i want to do so basically that's one thing i also realized that medical laboratory science if you're doing medical laboratory science bench work is a starting platform as much as most of us don't like it initially i've i've been asking around in fact i had to ask people and i'm feeling like oh is there really no way you can evade it yeah you can actually evade it i think to an extent from what i can't really say i can't categorically say but it's just that i know yes there's some people but majorly you have to actually start on the bench i don't know if you understood that part, but majorly you have to start on the bench the fourth point is different countries have different certification exam like now as a medical laboratory science i studied here in nigeria if i want to go to canada to practice i have to write a certification exam i have to pass it get your own certificate if i want to go to ghana whatever country you go to uk you just oh, india korea korea basically you just have to write the certification exam and and you know write go through their own process all over again not saying go through the old school process but then you have to learn their stuff and you know read real you have to actually go through their board their board exams all over again unlike here um unlike for nurses there are some um, qualification unlike nurses nurses come out with more than bns actually so they have other qualifications that they come out come out with and i think those qualific some of those qualifications are actually acceptable in some other countries apart from nigeria i don't really know the details but then i know most of the some of their qualifications which they come out with actually accepted in all other countries apart from nigeria it's like um will i say universal but for medical laboratory science the only thing we come out the only certificate to come out with is bmls we do not have any other qualification that's the only qualification we get after the five years of school year and it's not really it's not i won't say it's not really acceptable everywhere it's acceptable but the fact is that once you go to another country and you want to practice you always have to write their certification exam in whatever country you're going to practice so that in itself is something you gotta read <laughs> then my number five my last point for this video is that mls truthfully is actually mls can be stressful mls can be annoying 
a lot of times mls can be stressful mls can be annoying and if you if you do not have the passion or drive like i said earlier on i don't know how you last i don't i really don't know how you cope and because even trust me you see a lot of things to annoy you patients to annoy you people above you i know you people below you will annoy you colleagues who annoy you like th this i'm talking about now professionally in the in the line of work not like personal relationship kind of thing things cases and all will come and then if you do not have passion actually if you do not have passion for the job or for the profession basically i feel like you cannot last that is why a lot of times in the health prof um, in the health profession here you see a lot of people frustrated like medical health workers frustrated and you know anytime people come to them they just you know snap they are they are like patients level so i met someone at the hospital and they were like he doesn't know what's the problem with everybody here that they're just sending him they're just confusing they're, everybody's just snapping at him as if they don't want to do the job as if they're frustrated that if they don't want to do the job they should leave blah 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 and that and at that point i just realized that the truth is that a lot of people are just okay let me do the job because i can get a standard salary nobody no the passion is no longer there or the passion was never there basically so you need passion to actually go in the long ride on this journey you need passion see you need strength and passion so i hope with this five point i'll be able to shed little lights on medical laboratory science more plus I've been able to shed a little light actually on medical laboratory science and i feel if you have any questions about med lab yeah, at least here in nigeria please feel free to put them down in the comment section down below i will do my very 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 best to answer them and then also if you have any video um, video ideas you want me to do about medical laboratory science also let me know in the comment section down below i will be elated actually to make videos on them so thank you and for people who I have one or two things to talk about MLS for those people who are practicing here in Nigeria please feel free to you know put your feedback and talk about medical laboratory science and let's talk about medical laboratory science in the comment section see I feel there are a lot of things we we have to come out and change about medical laboratory science and if we are not if we are not all out there about it we are going to we have to enlighten ourselves going to we are if we are not all out here about it you know we will not be able to actually effect the change we want so thank you very much have a blessed day bye